Hello, welcome to another Baldy Tim's Reviews and today I'm doing a quick update review on this, the Kanak Safari Chef High Pressure or HP for short and I did a review on this which has been quite popular, quite a lot of views. Uh, I did that five or six months ago when I only had this for a, a week or two and you know what these reviews are like? Often they're just uh, sort of made when, or written or made on video, when the person's just had the, uh, whatever it is they're re reviewing just for a, a week or two, which was the case with me and this back then. But you rarely sort of get any sort of feedback going forward from there, do you, uh, with these reviews? You know, you, you end up thinking, well, yeah, they're sort of clearly in the honeymoon period with the product. Uh, and then you sort of wonder, well, how did they get on with it going on from there? You know, six months down the line, three months down the line, a year down the line. So this is now about six months old and I must have cooked about, oh, it's got to be 30, 30 plus meals on it. So uh, most of those uh, meals have been either sort of fried breakfasts some of them have been dinners, steaks, sausages, uh, sort of frankfurters for hot dogs, and uh, burgers and all that kind of thing. Uh, although, I did have one time when I actually sort of cooked up a little, some toast on it, so you can even do that. They're qu quite versatile units. I haven't used the saucepan thing yet on it. It is a lid, but it also doubles as a pan. Uh, so that's still shiny and new. I haven't used that. Uh, used this when we were on a camping pitch uh, with no electric hookup, uh, so it's all gas. So that w went on the unit like so. It kind of goes on the unit like that, and then we had the, uh, the gas kettle on there, uh, you know, to sort of boil up a nice cup of coffee. So that was that seen a uh, use a couple of times, but yeah, when you consider that we've used this so much now, uh, this has seen a lot of use. This um, thing, but it still looks pretty much as new, even though I've used that a good sort of 15, 20 times now. Uh, fat pan uh, still looks bright and shiny, and the sort of fry plate also. As you can see, it looks pretty much like new, even though sort of we've cooked numerous breakfasts up on this now. So, you know, it's really looking like the equipment is standing up to the test of time. And we've used it both at home and also on, we've probably been out on about seven or eight camping trips over the course of the spring and summer. Uh, we've been on numerous camping trips and the bag it goes in, you know, that's the bag it all packs into, and it's just such a small size, very small and neat, easily just goes into a corner, a little corner of the, uh, the car when you're going away. Uh, it doesn't take up a lot of room at all. In my other video on this, I sort of said how good the, um, an idea I thought the high pressure version was, the fact that you can screw the gas cylinder just straight into the bottom of the unit, without regulators, pipes, and everything else. And that really has worked out to be a, an absolute boon. You know, you, you just get to site, uh, or you just get this set up ready to cook. You screw that straight into there. I won't do that here now because we're inside, but it just screws in there really quickly and easily. And once it's uh, up and running, you just turn the knob there, turn that, hit the button to fire it up. If you want to watch my other video, I'll sort of actually demonstrate that when I'm outside. We, we bought this, I think it was near the start of last April, maybe even the end of March, and it's now early October. So it's just about six months that we've had this, and it has been absolutely superb. My only concern was because you're really restricted just to this one size of gas bottle, uh, and that is the one advantage of the low pressure version. You, you can get uh, 
um, even though you have to sort of have the regulation on there and the, and the hose, it does mean you can have sort of the bigger uh, gas bottles, which probably work out a lot more economic on these. But having said that, as I say, we've done 30 or over 30 mils on the unit, and so far we've only got through two of these, and they, they, I think they work out about seven pound fifty, eight pounds each. So. 16 quid's worth of gas for the whole summer. I don't think it's too bad. And if you're gonna be using this literally every day, you might not wanna go for the high pressure version, you might wanna go for the low pressure version. But there again, if you're doing that much barbecuing, you, you probably wouldn't have a little unit like this anyway. But if you just want something that's, yeah, you, yeah it just goes down into a very neat package, you're just cooking, yeah, maybe the odd barbecue here and then, and you just want something that's quick, easy, reliable. That's the other thing, it's been very reliable. Yeah, it's, yeah, no issues at all. So, you know, despite all that use, and it looks like, you know, it really is gonna stand, stand up to the test of time. It's a quality unit. And, oh, and just another thing, pretty much every time I've cooked on this, the, the food has come out really well as well. So I don't know what it is, whether the, the heat sort of, um, yeah, the way these things are designed, it just distributes the heat really evenly across it or whatever, but it just does seem to cook really, really well. So anyway, anyway, I'll leave it there. Highly recommend the Canac Safari Chef 2. And that's been another Baldy Tim's Reviews. Thanks for watching.